Mayor Bill de Blasio is planning on cutting the NYPD's budget in response to demands from protesters for change. People did not protest for the sake of protest. They protest to achieve change, and now we must deliver that change. On Sunday, the mayor talked about moving money from the NYPD and using it for social and youth services. We are committed to shifting resources uh, to ensure that the focus is on our young people. Calls to defund or even abolish the police have become top demands among protesters throughout the country, including here in New York City. When more funding is put into, you know, policing, then it is education, then housing, um, social services, and, you know, it's an issue. It shows that there's an imbalance. The head of the NYPD's detective union, Paul DiGiacomo, is warning that slashing the police budget will have consequences. If you cut the funding from the New York City Police Department, the only people that will suffer are the people of this city. The detective is also taking aim at politicians he accuses of not supporting the cops. It's not fair to the members of the NYPD and my detectives that are out there putting their lives on the line. If you assault one of my detectives, we will go after you with civil litigation. That is a promise. We are done being abused. Former police officer and current criminal justice professor Peter Moskos adds any funding cut will almost definitely mean less cops. You can't easily cut a organization that where, where 80 plus percent of the funding goes, goes to labor costs. So at least we should be honest about what is being proposed. Some are talking about stripping a billion dollars out of the NYPD's $6 billion budget. de Blasio doesn't have a number yet, but insists it won't be a billion. While doing that, we will only do it in a way that we are certain continues to ensure that this city will be safe. In Albany this week, the Democrat-led legislature is being expected to pass a slew of bills that address police practices. One hot-button measure would end secrecy surrounding the discipline records of cops. It's known as 50A, and abolishing it is something else that protesters are demanding. In Williamsburg, Brooklyn, Emily Druby, Current News. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and then click on the bell to get instant updates about all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.